In this Terraform hands-on lab, we are going to create Cloud Spanner using Terraform. As you can see, I'm using my Visual Studio Code as an editor and I created a folder called Spanner. Inside this Spanner folder, I created two files, main.tf and provider.tf and I uploaded my case.json from my service account. And you can see the, the provider.tf with a simple Google provider and the simple, you know, the arguments, project, project ID, region US Central 1 and zone US Central 1A and the credentials, the case.json and inside my main.tf I don't have anything for now so let me go to Terraform registry page and show the resource blocks that we are going to go through in this video and you can see that uh, we are in Terraform registry page and we will use this uh, cloud spanner and you can see we can use Google Spanner instance, Spanner database, and Spanner instance IIM. So to start with, we can uh, simply get Cloud Spanner, Google Spanner instance. Uh, there is an example, so we don't have to waste a lot of time writing this resource block and simply just copy this. And we'll go to our main.tf and just uh, paste it. You can see Google Spanner instance and let's change the name. Say Spanner from console. Uh, console. Spanner from console. And here also we need to provide the name. Spanner from console. And the config you can leave a num UR Euro AJ1. Or we can choose the US Central 1A. Doesn't matter. We can also display the name. Let's say multi regional instance. Or you can also change the number of nodes, the argument. We can change it to one. And you can give the labels. It's up to your choice. Uh, for example, learning spanner. So we can run with this code. Uh, let's let me do tear for a minute. It's now initializing. You can see we use it the basic arguments name, config, uh, display name, multi regional instance, number of nodes, levels, and everything is like this explained here in Google Cloud and Terraform registry page. So no need to really worry about, you know, how to create a resource block. Everything in the documentation, but just you need to just to be careful. So we will write, we'll write Terraform FMT to format our code. And then we'll say Terraform validate to validate our code. It's saying success. Uh, let's run Terraform plan. And let's write Terraform apply. And it will give me an error. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that most of you probably guess it why. Because we didn't provide the role for Cloud Spanner. We can see the color is missing. I am permission spanner.instance.create. For that, I'm going to go to my cloud, Google Cloud and go to IAM and admin and I will go to IAM and if you have already created service account you have to provide the role you can see I created my service account uh, called my first service account and I provide several roles and I will click this edit principle and within a few seconds it will show me the roles that i created already i think it's now updating yeah you can see now the roles that i have already provided let's add another role and write um let's say the cloud cloud spanner admin you can see full control of spanner resources and then let's click save 
and now we can click terraform apply again and see the result yes yeah it's saying that uh, instance already exists project uh, instance spanner from console so so we can change the name right spanner from console we need to change it spanner from terraform i i forgot to change the name last time i created spanner from using using a console so let's apply it again and we have to change it here also terraform and apply and yes And let's see. I think it's now creating. Yeah, apply is complete. Now we can go to our spanner here in navigation menu. I will go to databases and I will check my oh sorry I go to SQL, not we are in we need to go to spanner. Let's go again and then Click Spanner, and you will see here the Spanner Multi Regional Instance. We need to change this name, display name, and then we will create a database inside this uh, Spanner. <laughs> you can see we can create a database using a Terraform script. Let's first change this uh, Multi Regional Instance to Spanner from Terraform from tf for example spanner from tf and now we can create another resource block you can see there is a resource block called cloud spanner database and you can here see that this is a spanner example and here's a google spanner database resource block example we can just copy this and paste it here and we can change this database for example one and then that we can change the name here spanner from tf and then the name the instance name is required and also we can we can also change the version retention period if you want you can also mention version ret retention period argument but for now, if you want, you can add. Let's add it, okay. You can also mention DDL, create a table. And for example, last time we created a table. Uh, let's now remove the table and then see the, the result. You can also include the deletion protection false. If you want, you can allow DDL and create a table and run, run some commands. And you can also insert and query, run a query. So let's see our result. We just basically we create a Google Spanner database, and inside this database we mention it our Spanner instance, and we are giving the version rotation period to three day, and we are allowing deletion protection to false. Let's let's do Terraform apply, and then yes, we confirm it, and let's see it it's modifying it's now creating you can see the code once again we created cool spanner instance name config display name number of nodes labels and we create a google spanner database resource block and we mentioned our instance and then we mentioned the name my database or we can change it to my database tf and we've mentioned version rotation period to three day and deletion protection to false and it's now still creating we can go to Google Cloud account and go click Spanner and as you can see it's uh, creating now I guess still yeah still creating 
Apply is complete. Uh, it took about one minute, 90 seconds to create uh, the Google Spanner database and modify the changes. Now we can go to Spanner and refresh the page. Let's refresh it. As you can see, we have two Cloud Spanner instances, the one from the Cloud Console that I created using Google Cloud Platform earlier. And now we created Spanner from Terraform script. You can see Spanner from Terraform. And you can see that uh, the, the location is different. And also you can see the processing unit is 1000, which is one node. And you can also see storage utilization. If you click Spanner from TF, you will see the database that we created. Yeah, you can see my database. And it's Google Standards SQL. And version rotation period is three days. And you can see the US Central one, the location. And you can also create, a, you can also click this, my database. And you can also create a table. Yeah, you can also create a table by allowing DDL here, all right? So this is all about it. You can also import an expert. You can see that you can uh, export, import an expert uh, using uh, cloud data flow. You can also import data from cloud storage into a new cloud spanner database. You can click here and you can also export. You can back up and restore and also you can query and here in observable observability section you can also monitor you can see you can monitor region your central one and, and everything so this is all about it for this video you can go and to the documentation here and you can also use the other resource blocks such as Cloud Spanner Database IAM or Cloud Spanner Instance IAM, which is Identity and Access Management. And you can uh, go to these each resource block and go to Argument Reference, and you will see the required uh, stuff that you need to provide in your uh, Terraform in your Terraform script. So. This is all about it. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to create Cloud Spanner instance using console, you can refer to my another video and uh, I will mention it in the, the comment section. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos.